Before we dive into this episode of Pokemon, Meme review, I'm gonna react to the newest Scarlet and Violet trailer because I'm recording this just a couple hours after it came out. All right. Nothing new so far. What is that? Whoa, who are these extremely hot people? Look at them, they're legit models. Okay, starters within the game. Oh, fabulous. Who is this? Whoa, what is that? They're so tiny. Power of, there's the science guy. Pokemon seem to follow you, which is great. Different scenery, that's good. This looks cool. Fletchling, okay. What is that? It's a little thing! It's a little seed thing! It's cute! A little pig! Lechonk! <laughs> Lechonk! <laughs> Are Pokemon centers just like outdoor things? Okay, there's trading Larvitar and Bagon. Alright, that. Are these the gyms? Oh, box art legendaries. A canyon and a mountaintop. Whoa. 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 What? Whoa. Hold on. I got to pause this. Those look really cool the professors have the same outfit vibes like she had like feathers and he looked like he was wearing an outfit from the future and they're both lizards they're so handsome i can't decide which one i like more Oh, but these are these are some of the best box art legendary designs we've had in a long time, I gotta say. Friday, November 18th, the weekend before Thanksgiving, as is tradition. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the mission in the next episode, Aspid Pie. Greetings, Pokey fans. Michael here. Welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you my ongoing series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash MJTV. And since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon <laughs> Meme Review. r slash MJTV sorted by top in the past month. A bird that can't fly? Who thought that would be a good idea? Are you questioning my sense of design? You will pay for this portal. <laughs> That's how I came to Hisui, kid. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I love the I love the outfit design. That's so cool. And he has a beard. I think there's a decent chance the next Team Sky playthrough will be Legends Arceus. Akus. I'm not fully decided, but decent chance. Don't speak to me or my son ever again. Oh, huh. I never made that connection. That's actually really funny. Oh, be doof of the sky. What is your wisdom? Stop flexing your shinies. Let people flex their shinies. They worked hard for them or didn't at all. One of my favorite things to do in Pokemon Sword and Shield is spam Dynamax Meowth with the amulet coin until it caps out. So whenever I beat someone, it looks like they're having a crisis over the fact that I just stole their entire bank account. Max it out though. Like, don't you, like you can only have like Gigantamax Meowth for three turns? I don't know how that works. By popular demand, I present more designs from Pokemon Cloud and Soil. First three are the starters' final evolutions. Mikey must accept my formal invitation to play the games when they're done. I don't have to accept, but good to know that they're on their way. Mr. Fowl, interesting. Sorceram, ooh, I was not expecting that. Stormfant, ooh, he's a, he's a wide boy. Crabis and Ghostation, whoa. Those are cool. Spelgin Hinchant. All right. Glimmerine. Ooh. Just like that fish that liked that one little shiny scale. The color changes a bit depending on which color scale it's holding. Maybe that changes typing? Kind of like a Genesect. Or maybe just changes the type of a move like with Genesect. Lion Metiger. That's cool. Ooh, an ice type rock rough. That's fun. Whoa. LEG. I want the real channel's mascot. I said the real channel's mascot. Haha, it is I, Grunty Boy. Haha. -ha! 
Ah, it is I, Grunty Boy, and I have a bone to pick with you. Oh. Well, that's surprising. We've been getting along so well. Then why are you trying to replace me with this? I've added so much to the two channels, and swapping me out for this cute blue orb is how I am repaid? Grunty Boy, Mighty is my new mascot. You were never a mascot. You're so much more than that. You're a valued member of the m TV cinematic universe. Mighty is simply an addition to it. Do you really mean that? Of course. No one promotes Raycon earbuds better than you do. You know, it's funny you should mention that because they're actually the sponsor of today's video. Raycon's everyday earbuds feel, look, and sound better than ever, offering eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. They also have two modes of listening, noise isolation so you can be totally immersed and awareness mode if you need to listen to both your earbuds and your surroundings, like when running errands or keeping track of kids. Their optimized gel tips give you the perfect in-ear fit that's super comfortable and won't budge. Look! Amazing. See, you're a natural. Oh, and I can keep going. Raycon earbuds have quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands, so it's no wonder that they have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Click the link in the description below or head to buyraycon.com slash MNJTV to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Nailed it. Couldn't have done it better myself. Thank you, my good man. You know, I feel like I've been doing such a good job for so long that I deserve a stint as your channel avatar. Uh... We can discuss that later. I'll take that as a yes. Ta-ta! Bragging about getting your post featured on Aspid of Pie. Getting Flare in R slash Team Sky. There's a Team Sky subreddit? Squirtle doesn't seem to understand the floor very much. Nice. If you enjoy Quagsires, have a nice day. And if you don't, have a nice day. Well, I appreciate having a nice day. Like in Rock Dawn form. How it started? <gasps> Team Rocket! How it's going? Do you remember our camping trip last weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm wearing the same shirt. Billy, what have you done? I hate the older Pokemon games because they have bad graphics. Let me handle it. <laughs> I don't mind the graphics of older Pokemon games. It's the quality of life things, you know? Like, I'm never gonna go out of my way to play Gen 1 or Gen 2 when I can play the same regions with much more quality of life improvements via their remakes. Excuse you, <laughs> the betrayal. The Pacific Ocean has 3.9 stars out of five on Google Maps. Who the F is downvoting the ocean? You see, I just don't like it. <laughs> when you replay Sun and Moon and realize it's five and a half years old. Yeah, it is. Sword and Shield are gonna be three years old when Scarlet and Violet come out. Mikey, when someone insults cast form. <laughs> I do still care about cast form, but what I care more about is Mighty, my new mascot. I have a whole video explaining my little origins behind this guy, but if you want to get a plushie of your own, mnjtvmerch.com for a very limited time. Like, like a couple more days at most. So go get one, quickly. Dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. <laughs> oh goodness. Evolution in Pokemon, evolution in real life. I don't think the system works. When the Mega is so trash, you bring lipstick instead of a Mega bracelet? Is she, does she use Mega Garchomp in the anime? I need to watch this, my gosh. I saw the image where it was like the Masters 8 or something like that, and it was like a bunch of champions and then Ash, and I'm like, what have I missed? <laughs> I guess he's technically a champion because of Alola. Anyways, which is the rarest Oricorio in Pokemon Go? Snorlax, how helpful. Grunty Boy should play Pokemon Rocket Edition. It would make for a fun video. Uh, what is Pokemon Rocket Edition? Is that a ROM hack? I've never heard of it. Kids nowadays, no, this game has terrible graphics. I can't play this game. Me back in the day as a kid. Wow, this game looks so amazing and fun. Yeah, I mean, I care about graphics a bit, but I don't care about them like enough to not play Pokemon. <laughs> Hello, Mikey from MNJ TV. Hello, Meowth from Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We both, uh, indeed, we both grew fabulous beards. So his is more of a neck beard. I will say, I have no intention of getting rid of the beard. I like how I look with it, but mainly I like not having to shave my entire face every four to five days and irritate my entire face. I just like occasionally like shave these little areas and like, you know, outside the beard line. And then I trim it like every two, three weeks. It's a much nicer, quality of life improvement over having to shave my whole face. Kurt Pokemon made Angie. <laughs> what? Where does your loyalty lie? 
Divided we fall. My old avatar and my new mighty avatar. Civil war. There's no civil war. We've evolved. And also the main channel has 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 mighty in in the avatar as well. Plot of every game in a nutshell. Oh my, you were battling, weren't you? Who was it this time? It was Ho-Oh. That's nice. <laughs> huh? Can someone from the Pokemon fandom explain this? I don't understand Nurse Joy's reaction. Ho-Oh's basically a minor. Okay, we know that. Nurse Joy pretty much just heard this 10 year old say I threw a rat out of God. <laughs> the best part, Pikachu's awake. Pokemon faint upon being defeated. What Nurse Joy heard was more along the lines of I threw a mouse out of God and the mouse won. <laughs> what is a king to a God? What is a God to a 10 year old with an electric mouse? Greetings, pretty fans. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. I finally weakened the shiny Gravelar enough to, yeah. Remember in my, can you beat Pokemon Platinum where there was that whole, that whole anxiety about me finding the, the shiny Gravelar and then it might blow up, but it didn't and I caught it and then I found another one a couple hours later which died to its partner's earthquake, but I didn't care because I already had one. Napoleon is trash, I don't care. Its stats are garbage. Its stats aren't really garbage as a starter. Piplup is cute, water steel is terrible. Wait, it's a steel type? Torterra and Inferno Perpetor. I like penguins. I mean, I don't love Empoleon, but like, if you like it, that's fine. Pokemon uses Earthquake while Flygon is using Dig. My Flygon with Levitate. I do think it's funny that that works. A Pokemon that's underground with Levitate is still fine. <laughs> Giovanni watching Grunty Boy leave the crime scene to go tell Mikey about Sober <laughs> A mighty meme. Mighty, fighty, lighty, lighty, righty, righty. Nighty, Heidi, Kitey, Crikey, Almighty, ha <laughs> ha, and Mikey. <laughs> I love it, very cute. Nobody, ditto, I'm gonna pretend. <laughs> How to make a Reggie with Reggie Gigas. Oh, hi Reggie, get oh goodness. Me and my friend trying to hit each other's Pokemon after spamming double team. Excellent. Nine plus 10 is, it goes to 21. You stupid. <laughs> Every other region has a normal starter triangle, but then Sinnoh's just a civil war. Infernape with super effective stab against both others. Empoleon with only super effective stab against Infernape. And even then it's slower. Torterra super effective stab against both others. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. This is a short animation. Ooh, or sound. Oh God, the floor tentacles. That was so cute. Orbit needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. They are not. Now, obviously, they're both round to cute with arms and feet and a face. Yet Kirby is bald. Right idea of a chat the wrong PokeTuber, it seems. I mean, people people are gonna make shocked faces and thumbnails. There's a reason we do it. It works. <laughs> Touch grass. Oh, because they tell gamers to go outside and touch grass. I got it. M and JTV fans, you want to tell me about the incident, Michael and Grunty Boy? No, I don't think I will. I'm not going to. <laughs> Gyarados is intimidate. Corviknight's mirror armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the card. Sprigatito evolution prediction based on a lynx and saber tooth. That would be cool. I'm very on board for this. Alomomola is a pink big fish of love. Pokemon fans, wouldn't that make you a love disc evolution? <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one. So, where did you come from? I don't know, my region doesn't exist yet. But, but that doesn't make any sense. Well, they didn't make my region based on my country yet, so. Okay, let's forget about that. Just choose one of the team's guys' branches where you wanna go. Oh, gee, can I go to Galar? You look excited about it. Is there anything special there? Ah, uh, no, it's nothing, nothing at all. Oh. <laughs> Grunty boy, when Mikey has a sponsor? Yes, indeed. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. I mean, he he wouldn't, cause he's not a Pokemon. Don't get me in trouble. Oh, God. Who authorized this? Mickey's Multiverse Madness. Y'all, it's Mikey. There's no C. It's Mike plus a Y. But I agree. It is kind of my own Multiverse of Madness. Although it is kind of funny. The the Team Sky Leader. It's like kind of ambiguous as to whether that's me or another character. And also the name is. Mikey, it doesn't matter. Aw, some mighty fan art. That's so cute, I love it. You get an upvote. Remember them? This is them now, feel old yet? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm getting my, my sketch writing flexing in. Annoying younger cousin, I'm so strong I can beat anybody. How do you think you could defeat me? Me, you're substantially smaller. <laughs> Biggest rivalry in Pokemon, expectation, reality. What can I say? We're transcendent. When you find Arcus in Legends, finally, a legendary. <laughs> I mean, you get Dialga and Palkia first. I'll give Mikey this custom Trico if it makes it onto Aspidapai. You don't need to give it to me, but 
That is very cool. Making that, like, that looks like a bike chain? That's that's a very unique style of art. I think that's awesome. Snom with no shell? <laughs> I mean, it's still cute. <laughs> Praise be to the adorable amalgamation of Kirby's kindness and shiny hail co cast form's color scheme. <laughs> hey, hey, shiny hail form cast form copied my color scheme. I've had blue and yellow. I had it for many years before shiny hail form cast form. All right, I'm gonna scroll through some of the new memes, which I normally don't do, but since the trailer only came out like a couple hours ago, I'm not expecting any of them to have gotten onto hot and certainly not top. So let's see if there's any memes about the new Scarlet Violet Pokemon. I made a bunch of pride form mighties. Oh, that's cool. This isn't about the, the new trailer, but it's about mighty and pride month just started. That's so cool. I love those. Oh, that was fantastic. Mikey is so gonna love these lizards. You're correct. I've only had Palmy for a day and a half, but if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. I'm realizing I haven't looked up the name of this one yet. Small Wait, Smoliv? We've got Lechonk and Sm a Pokemon with a S M O L in its name? Is this the meme generation? Some cute fan art of the new Pokemon? Man, y'all work fast. Lestonks? <laughs> Friendship ended with Embor. Now Lechonk is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. <laughs> They're the same picture. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Professor Turo. Yeah, but his first name is Chad. Potential new Tauros on this kid's shirt? That's, that just looks like regular Tauros. Tauros already has those dots on its forehead. Don't forget, if you wanna get a Mighty Plush at mnjtvmerch.com, you gotta get one now. There's a couple days left at most. So head to mnjtvmerch.com and thank you so much for watching. With an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. And if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all!